Australian survivors of a tragedy stamped with the hallmark of Japan. Men of the hospital ship Centaur, ruthlessly torpedoed by a Jap submarine with the appalling loss of 268 lives, including 11 nurses. The chief pantryman of the ship is greeted by his family as he arrives home. Jambon is a small community located about 30 kilometres north of Biloela in Queensland. The Jambon Cemetery is located just outside of the township and is home to some 80 memorials. There are some unmarked and quaint graves in this location. Whilst walking through the cemetery, I located several interesting memorials, but one in particular caught my eye. This is the gravesite of Guthrie Maynard and also the memorial for his two sons, John and Alan Maynard. All three men were veterans of the Australian Army and served in World War II. Unfortunately, both Alan and John were killed in the sinking of the hospital ship Centaur off the Queensland coast in May 1943. Guthrie Maynard was born on the 19th of October 1891. He was born to John William Maynard and Maria Schmacker in Eidsvold in Queensland. The electoral roll has him residing in Jambon, north of Biloela in Queensland in 1943. This is his ultimate resting place. Guthrie was married to Francis French in Mount Perry in 1917. The pair had six children altogether. Tragically, they lost two sons in the war. Guthrie's death certificate has three causes of death listed. Pneumonia in his right lung, atrophy of the liver, and accidental poisoning with arsenic. From the timeline listed, it appears as though Guthrie was exposed to arsenic first and develop the other listed illnesses later. Guthrie was listed in the Australian Army as a part-time member during World War II. He was discharged once the war ended. His sons, Alan and John, never came home from the war. Both men were enlisted in the Army's Medic Corp and were on board the hospital ship Centaur when it was sunk off the Queensland coast, just near Morton Island on the 14th of May 1943. The hospital ship Centaur was a vessel dedicated to the transport of sick and wounded soldiers from Papua New Guinea to Brisbane. It was not armed and contained only medical staff, such as army medics, nurses and doctors. The ship had departed New Guinea and was inbound to Sydney. There were 332 people on board this ship. At approximately 4.10am on the 14th of May 1943, a Japanese submarine torpedoed Centaur in the fuel tanks. The entire ship caught ablaze and sunk within two to three minutes. Prior to being sunk, the ship was well illuminated with floodlights, bright lights in the form of red crosses, reminiscent of hospital ships of the time. The Japanese government refused to accept the sinking and denied all knowledge. 268 people lost their lives on that night and a family lost two sons in an instant. Lest we forget. <laughs>